Million Dollar Secrets of the Amazon Associates How They Make Money from the Biggest Online Shopping Mall Written by Jim Stevens Narrated by Steve Krumloff Terms and Conditions Legal Notice The publisher has strived to be as accurate and complete as possible in the creation of this report, notwithstanding the fact that that he does not warrant or represent at any time that the contents within are accurate due to the rapidly changing nature of the Internet. While all attempts have been made to verify information provided in this publication, the publisher assumes no responsibility for errors, omissions, or contrary interpretation of the subject matter herein. Any perceived slights of specific persons, peoples, or organizations are unintentional. In practical advice books, like anything else in life, there are no guarantees of income made. Readers are cautioned to rely on their own judgment about their individual circumstances to act accordingly. This book is not intended for use as a source of legal, business, accounting, or financial advice. All readers are advised to seek services of competent professionals in legal, business, accounting, and finance fields. Forward. People who look around and research their choices a little more in depth when it comes to making money online might find the money-making world of affiliate marketing. It's a simple concept, actually. Imagine that I produce a product and then want you to aid me in selling as many of it as imaginable. You, the affiliate, will market the product for me through your website. If a sale is made thanks to you, I'll devote a part of that sale to you. The percentage changes, however. It may be very high for some and low for others. If you're unscrupulous, you're able to promote all kinds of trash to bring in a buck, whether you truthfully think it's worth recommending or not. You might even market products that you absolutely know are terrible and still bring in your cut of the sale and it turns out individuals actually do just that. As a result, affiliate marketers get a really bad rap. In spite of there being nothing inherently wrong with getting cash for supplying a marketing service, Amazon Associates was among the earliest and presently largest affiliate programs around. The operating margins are much smaller for Amazon, so the percent that you acquire for every sale is kind of small compared to that of a lot of products online. But when you sign on and supply the details of how you'd like to be compensated, you'll get your payments once you have achieved or crossed the pre-established threshold limit set by the site. If you move adequate sales, after a couple of months, you will be getting a regular monthly paycheck from them. Other affiliate platforms make you jump through hoops to sign on and get approved or might call for particular conditions to be met prior to issuing payments. For example, ClickBank requires five assorted credit card purchases prior to releasing the funds, which progressively brings down the amount that you're owed over time till you get those five separate charge card payments. We will find out about the Amazon Affiliate Program here. Chapter 1 Introduction Amazon.com is the largest marketplace online, a place where you can literally buy everything and caters to virtually everyone all over the world. As an Amazon associate, you will have the opportunity to tap into a wealth of goods and services and earn commission every time somebody clicks the links on your blog or site and makes a purchase in Amazon through it. As an Amazon associate, you get to work online, from home, or wherever you want to. Be your own boss, never having to answer to anyone again. Earn money, huge amounts of money, without lifting a finger. Do something you love, such as blogging about your interest. Find new friends online, and some of them may even be from all over the world. All those things sound good, don't they? It certainly spells the kind of dream life you may have always wanted. And the great thing about all this is that it is true. 
It is for real. It is what's happening right now. As an Amazon associate, the world can be your oyster and will be as long as you find your true niche. Finding what you are most suitable to sell is what this ebook is all about. A niche represents a section of the market that you feel most comfortable and knowledgeable about. More than that, you feel passionate about it, to the point of coming across as an authority every time you speak to others regarding the products or services you're promoting. Amazon.com does not charge any kind of fee if you sign up to become an Amazon associate. With that in mind, you might be wondering why people don't give it a try. After all, if it sounds so great to start with, and you've nothing to lose, isn't it worth taking a shot? People think becoming an Amazon associate is too complicated. Rather, many people believe that being an Amazon associate requires you to have in-depth technical knowledge. That's not at all the case, though. You don't even need your own domain if it comes down to it, but Amazon prefers that you do. Ultimately, as long as you have a place to call home online and there are enough people who regularly visit your site, Amazon.com won't have any problems taking you in as an associate. Not only that, but they'll also provide you with all the tools and resources you need to hit the ground running. People think all they need is to have the links displayed. Technically, that can work too, but you're not going to earn thousands or even millions of dollars just by showing those links. You need to work just a bit harder than that at the start, but when you do things right, you will get to reap the rewards for a long, long time. Ultimately, the number one secret to becoming a successful Amazon associate is this. You need to work on it. But it's the kind of work that you'll absolutely love. And again, all of this boils down to finding your perfect niche. Chapter 2 Why is everyone crazy about Amazon? The number should speak for itself. As of 2011, Amazon earns $34 billion annually which is greater than the GDP of 50% of the nations of the world. Web sales of the online mammoth is more than five times what Buy.com, Target, and Walmart earn online combined. Amazon caters to 137 million customers every week. Back in 1995, Amazon had a 400-square-foot garage as a warehouse. In just two years, that number grew to two warehouses measuring 300,000 square feet. At present, the company uses 25 million square feet overall to house its inventory. Considering all these impressive statistics, the first thing you should ask yourself would be, what is Amazon.com doing so incredibly well that people just keep getting back to its site to buy stuff they can find elsewhere? It has everything. Sure, a lot of sites sell the same products, but they're unlikely able to match all the items that Amazon has. Ultimately, it's more convenient to buy all your products from one site and under one single transaction. It is secure. You rarely, if ever, hear complaints about people getting their online accounts hacked when shopping in Amazon.com. It's a very well-established and reliable site, which is why even first-time online shoppers are comfortable using it. It caters to everyone from all over the world. The shipping costs can get a little steep if you're outside the United States, but at the end of the day, what matters to most people is that you do get what you want to buy. It's important to keep these benefits in mind because they can ultimately help you market more effectively to your market. Of course, Amazon is not perfect either. People do have complaints about the site as well, including but not limited to the following. Payment options are limited for buyers. They must have a credit card and are unable to use their PayPal accounts for paying their purchases. There can still be errors or problems 
with the shipping, packaging, and sometimes the products itself. These concerns are obviously out of your hand. They're also something you can expect your own customers to complain about from time to time. Being prepared for such issues and training yourself to handle them efficiently and courteously is the best thing you can do about them. Don't let these concerns stop you from taking advantage of the million-dollar opportunity that awaits you behind the virtual doors of Amazon.com. Now that you know how and why people are so crazy about Amazon.com, it's time for you to answer this question. Are you ready to take financial advantage of such craziness? If you answer yes, then don't waste any moment. Sign up right this minute for an Amazon Associate account. Take the time to read the terms of service for becoming an Amazon Associate. Don't worry about not knowing how to build or design a website and not understanding a thing about search engine optimization. All those you can learn in time. But ultimately, what matters is that you know and understand what your market needs. Chapter 3 the most profitable markets in Amazon. Earnings of Amazon Associates are based on two things, the quantity of sales and the category of the products you are selling. Obviously, the more you can sell, the more you learn. But if you want to play it a little smarter than that, then you should also take into account which markets are the most profitable in Amazon. Profitability based on advertising fees. At present, here is a list of the percentage you'll earn from the products you're able to sell to your market. Magazines, 25%. Game downloads products and Amazon Instant Video, 10%. Industrial products together with all other items from Amazon Supply, 8%. Products from MyHabit.com, 8%, redeemable gift cards from Amazon.com, 6%, MP3 products sold on Amazon.com, 5%, grocery, 4%, gift cards that can't be redeemed on Amazon.com, 4%, electronic products, 4%. Ideally speaking, you will earn more from selling magazines on Amazon.com to your market. However, you also need to consider other factors. Quantity A high commission rate won't matter if your sales figures are inconsistent at best and non-existent at worst. If that is the case, it would be better if you target a different market that offers lower commission but offers products that you're better able to promote. Price range you need to consider the disposable income of your market. How much are they willing to spend online regularly? What kinds of products or product categories will comfortably fit their budget? Frequency You should also consider how frequently do you expect your readers or customers to shop online. Consider the type of product you're selling as well. Are they the type that people will need to buy regularly? Are there new products being introduced regularly in your chosen category as well? All these will determine whether you should concentrate on finding new unique users regularly or you'd be able to earn comfortably from regular customers alone. Interest Last but not the least, you need to focus on what you'd be most interested in talking about and selling. People won't bother checking out your blog or website if they realize that all you're after is their money. They also want to see that you care, and it's why you're promoting to them items that you truly recommend. A perfect example of this is how book bloggers can earn a comfortable income as an Amazon associate. Through book reviews, they're able to prove that they really did enjoy a book and even give reasons why they recommend the product. Also, their reviews serve as proof that they do know what they're talking about and are worth listening to. Top links to help you find the most profitable categories in Amazon. 
Finally, a quick visit to the Amazon.com homepage will give you additional clues on what's raking in the dollars for its associates at present. Bestseller list. This primarily concerns books or ebooks sold in Amazon.com. It can help you choose the genres that you should concentrate most about when reviewing and selling Amazon titles. Top rated. These products do not necessarily have the most number of reviews, but they definitely have the most number of positive ratings. These are the most reliable products to sell as long as you can access the market they're targeting. Hot new products. These newly arrived products can start a trend. Tap into it early, and you could be a pioneer in its category. Movers and shakers. Something big is happening with these products, and it's making them zoom up to the top of their category's best-selling list. Most gifted. Finding out why so many people love giving them away can be the first step to enjoying your first earnings as an Amazon associate. Most wished for. Your dilemma lies in finding a way to convince buyers to get these products off their wish list and into their virtual shopping carts. Chapter 4 Finding Your Niche in Profitable Amazon Markets There are three essential components that make up a niche. Market Sector A niche does not represent an entire market or a general product category. Rather, it's a part of it, such as MP3 players in the electronics market or young adult titles in books. Targetable It has to be something that you can target. The market either already exists or one you have the confidence of tapping into. Focused. It has an existing market with unique and identifiable characteristics. If you would like to sell Amazon ebook titles, then you need to consider the demographics of its target readers. What is their age range? Where are they mostly from? How often do they buy ebooks? Instead of narrowing your selection to a single niche in an instant, you can give yourself a bit of a breather by at least providing yourself with several niches to choose from. A niche that is worth considering is characterized by the following. It's being actively searched. Now is the time to do a little keyword research. How often are people searching for products in this niche? What kind of competition are you facing? if you do choose this particular niche. Of course, you don't want a saturated market, since that would make it extremely difficult for you to get noticed. However, you don't want a niche that's completely dead either. Money is already being spent. In time, you can work on creating your own niche and developing a demand where none existed. But since you are just starting out, you need to make it a little easier for yourself and target niches that are already earning money. Think in terms of sustainability. You will also have an easier time targeting a niche if it consists of products and services where the demand is sustainable. A lot of people mistake the term sustainability as products that literally last long, like roofs that last 50 years long. But that's not it at all. Sustainability is all about markets where products are something people would have a constant or consistent need for. Food is a sustainable market, but it's also a broad one, with scores of niches under it. You can consider it a sustainable market because people will obviously go hungry without food. But since people also have so many choices to choose from, you'll need to make sure you choose the right niche to target. It all goes back to how interested you are in it. Finally, niche marketing boils back down to your interest. Can you see yourself enjoying promoting the products in a particular niche even in five years' time? If so, then you've probably found a viable niche to target. Chapter 5. Finding the Right Niche Products to Market in Amazon At this point in time, 
you should already have selected a niche based on the tips discussed in previous chapters. However, your background work doesn't stop there. You also need to choose specific products from your niche that you should concentrate on first. In choosing the best product to promote, you need to consider a variety of factors. Product Reviews How many are there? Good or bad, having a lot of reviews prove that there is interest in the product. You have to understand that people only write a review when they feel so strongly about a product, and that's usually a good thing. If a product is priced over $100, there should at least be 10 positive reviews before you can consider a product worth your time to promote. If the product is priced below $100, however, there must definitely be more than 10, and especially if the product has been out for more than a few months already. Of course, every review comes with a rating, so you need to consider that as well. It is also best to prioritize products where the 5 and 4 star ratings greatly outnumber the 1 and 2 star ratings. Popularity When you use a particular keyword to search products in Amazon, you can sort the results in various ways. One of those ways would be popularity, which is definitely a factor worth considering. Good or bad, a product can be considered popular depending on the quantity of sales it's generating. A highly popular product with more than its fair share of poor reviews is still worth considering if you truly believe in it. Keyword Research The keyword research you performed previously was for helping you decide which niche market to target. This time, however, you need to consider the key words that have to do with the products you are considering promoting. Competition Go back to Google and this time search for other Amazon associates promoting the same products you have your eye on. Are there a lot of them? Are their sites or blogs highly ranked? As with what you did when looking for profitable niches to target, you need to avoid products that are already heavily promoted by the competition. With such a saturated market, you'll have a very difficult time earning enough money from these products. Sales Objectives and Strategies The type of product you'll be promoting will also determine how much and what kind of marketing you'll need to do afterwards. Expensive products require personalized promoting and catering to a particularly small market. Seasonal products will bring in massive income during selected holidays, but you need to come up with a strategy that gradually builds interest until you hit the peak dates. Mass market products require continuous marketing to target both regular and unique customers. Lastly, the kind of products that you'll be targeting will also affect your cash flow or how often you can expect to earn money. If you are thinking of making your Amazon associate earnings your primary source of income, then you should consider starting out with products that people have a need to buy frequently. People buy products frequently either because they are affordable or because they satisfy a strong desire or want and not a functional need. Chapter 6, Marketing Tools Specific to Amazon Now that you have your niche and products narrowed down, it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty of marketing. As an Amazon associate, you are not left to flounder in the dark and figure out for yourself how to reach your market and get them to visit Amazon.com. The website itself offers a variety of marketing tools which you can easily access and make use of once you sign up for an account. Product links. These are the easiest to integrate with your blog or website, and you get to choose from three different types of links. Text. It's straight to the point, but it will only provide the product name and nothing else. This works best for products that your market is well familiar with. Image. This is a good type of link to use if your products are visually appealing and sell mainly because of their appearance rather than their functions or features alone. Enhanced. This takes up a lot of space, more so than the other links, but it also provides more information. 
If price is a key part of your strategy, then this is the type of link that you'll need. Banners Although you can use as many banners as you want, it's probably best to use one per website. Most people use banners for their home pages, as it's the type of advertisement that deserves the most prominent placement on your site. You get to choose from a variety of design options for making your Amazon banner, and integrating it with your site or blog won't be that difficult, since Amazon has concise instructions to help you with integration. With banners, you should know that Amazon also comes up with special designs for seasonal promotions, like their popular Black Friday and back-to-school sales. Widgets They're more than simple buttons. Rather, they are like miniature applications that offer a number of interactive functions. Search widgets allow users to explore Amazon.com for products. Carousel widgets basically let users find out about your products with a random spin. My Favorites widgets are ideal if your readers place great stock on your recommendations. Deals widgets simply introduce your readers to the various ongoing deals on Amazon.com. It's not very targeted, but it can still generate sales depending on the type of deal that's currently offered. MP3 Clips widgets are obviously ideal for music-oriented sites and blogs. Slideshow widgets are something you configure and design on your own. They work better for products that have to be seen to generate interest. Auto Part Finder widgets are obviously for sites and blogs that target the automotive market. Wish List widgets are similar to My Favorites widgets. It will also weigh more favorably if your readers place great value on your opinions. Amazon Blog Widgets share information from blogs you've handpicked. Product Cloud Widgets basically come up with a list of the most used tags in your niche. A-Store Widgets are basically a storefront display for your products. Recommended Product Link Widgets feature items relevant to your niche. OMA case widgets are all about unique products that Amazon.com feels are a good match for your market. Chapter 7 Examples of Successful Amazon Associates Inspiration plays a very vital role when it comes to becoming a successful Amazon associate. Marketing, the ins and outs of it, is something you can easily learn with a bit of research online. But what would make your strategies unique and incredibly powerful would depend on your own heart. How much do you want to be successful? How hard are you willing to work to build your Amazon business? Because being an Amazon associate isn't a job. It's a business, one that is sustainable and may even be steadily and progressively lucrative. To know what it really takes to become a successful Amazon associate, you may want to look up to some of the success stories that Amazon.com produced. Darren Rouse Of course, if you are a great writer yourself, then there is definitely a way of maximizing your skills. Darren Rouse is proof of that, and you can learn lots of great tips from problogger.net, where he talks about how he's able to generate six-digit earnings from high-quality content, among other things. Through Rouse, you'll also hopefully learn that writing is not everything. Great writing by itself won't be able to reach your market. Before it can do its work, you need to learn about the marketing techniques that will get people to knock on your virtual door first. Jan Roos While listening to this ebook, you've probably asked yourself why there hasn't been much mention made about writing. After all, shouldn't you first be a great writer? before you can succeed in internet marketing? A lot of people think so, but Jan Roos does not. In fact, he's not even an exceptional writer himself, but he still manages to earn a respectable amount of money as an Amazon associate. You can check out the physical affiliate website if you want proof of just how successful Jan Roos is nowadays. For Roos, it's all about finding the perfect process for building your niche and repeating the process. Wanda and Paula 
These twin stories of success are behind the popular Amazonian profit plan, as well as being the owners of the affiliate blog online website. They are living and continuously earning proof that an Amazon associate does not need to build dozens of review sites in order to earn enough from commissions. Rather, Wanda and Paula constantly stress in their blog and website the need for giving high-quality reviews to their readers. Chris Guthrie He started out with a fairly cool job testing Halo 2 for Microsoft, which got him to building a website that shared gaming tips and gameplay videos with his fellow gamers. Adding advertisements to his site eventually gave him $5,000 every month. This convinced him to quit his day job and work full-time as an Internet marketer. Although he has various sources of passive income nowadays, his greatest earnings still come from Amazon commissions. The driving force behind his ambition? Purchasing Guthrie Castle in Scotland, a property that used to belong to his family. But for now, he'll be amenable to earning his first million by the time he turns 30. Dan Brock Deadbeat Affiliate, Lazy Affiliate Those, mind you, aren't insults, but are actually his own choices of nicknames for himself. You see, Brock is proud that he is exactly what those nicknames say about him. Someone who does not need to perform backbreaking work just to enjoy a steady and profitable source of income online. Chapter 8 Strategies that you can learn from associates and use yourself. Below are the ultimate million dollar secrets you have been waiting for. These simple but highly effective strategies are what separate the Amazon associate millionaires from the hordes of aspiring marketers who can't seem to sell more than a few dollars each month despite working numerous hours on Internet marketing every day. Learn about SEO. SEO is what will get people to visit your site. Everything you do must be optimized for search engines. This includes, but is definitely not limited to, your content, the layout of your site, even the title of your blog, and the domain you have picked for it. Do you know that profile pictures may also be optimized for search engines? It's all-encompassing, and that's actually a good thing, since it means more chances for you to attract your target market. Earn your market's trust and loyalty. Trust and loyalty aren't freely given. These have to be earned, with not just words, but actions too. Thankfully, you don't actually need years to build a relationship founded on trust and loyalty. People are generally optimistic and will be willing to give you a try right away, but only if they gain a good first impression from you. To earn your market's trust and loyalty, you need to have standards and stick to it. Show that you care about what they want and need, are willing to listen to what they have to say, are consistent with what you do. Pay attention to what your readers want. Market demands change, and it's critical that your site and blog reflect these changes. At first, your readers might have visited your blog just because yours was the only site that offered reviews on, say, sci-fi romances. But if there are a lot of blogs that have imitated your content, you need to think of another way to please your readers. What else could they possibly want from your site that the other blogs can't offer? You can think of another angle to tackle your niche, or you may have to change your niche entirely. Make good use of the marketing tools that Amazon.com offers. Amazon.com did not spend a lot of money for those tools for nothing. The website invested in an arsenal of marketing tools for its associates because they knew that it could help their associates earn more, which consequently means an increase for their sales too. Also, they're free. So why are you turning your back on them? Of course, you need to be strategic with your choice of marketing tools. It's essential that you do not drown your site with too much advertising, as that could turn your readers off. 
Just stick to what will really help in your niche. Understand the value of social proof. Social proof is the root of why certain trends become viral and why items reach the top of bestseller lists so quickly. The quality of the product does not always have something to do with it. Rather, it's about how most people are motivated to patronize a particular product simply because the people they know like it too. It's because of social proof that people are also more willing to take a risk on products they don't fully understand or believe in. They pay for such products based on the reviews and ratings made by other people. Be genuine and informative. First of all, don't lie to your customers. Be honest with them at all times. Also, feel free to link to authorities in your niche if you believe it will help you promote or sell a product. If you are selling an organic sunblock, then how about linking to news reports about the dangers of too much exposure to UV rays without proper protection? Ultimately, if there's one golden rule to remember about becoming a massively successful Amazon associate, then it's this. Quality over quantity at all times. Chapter 9. Conclusion The golden rule of quality over quantity at all times will be hard to impose on certain instances. When there's a product doing exceptionally well in the market, which you personally do not like, should you still market it? Should you turn your back on an opportunity that can earn you thousands of dollars instead? These cases can tear you up inside, but there's actually a good way out of them. You just have to be objective and, yes, still genuine about them. People place a lot of respect, trust, and loyalty on Amazon associates who are genuinely interested in their work as well as in helping their readers find what's great for them. Keep in mind that being genuine does not mean you have to be your naturally emotional or rude self. It also doesn't mean being exceptionally friendly or businesslike. You should also aim for balance by mixing in your personal reviews with what the majority and the authorities have to say about a particular product. Another essential quality that the most successful Amazon associates share is their ability to stay organized, which of course starts with a plan. You need to have a goal in sight, a motivation to reach that goal, and finally a strategy to achieve it. Contrary to popular opinion, even the most successful deadbeat Amazon associate did not earn thousands of dollars from commissions by doing nothing. Rather, they were just more strategic with their actions, which in return generated sustainable long-term earnings. Amazon associates look upon what they do as a business and not a job. Although this has been briefly touched on earlier, it's a lesson that can't be emphasized enough. If you truly want to make your Amazon commissions a primary or steady source of income, you need to be more proactive with what you're doing rather than simply going to work and just waiting for the paycheck to arrive at the end of the month. An employee doesn't need to care about where the company is heading. He will still get paid even if the profits are down. But it's not the same case for businessmen for people who have and manage their own businesses. They always need to think and stay a few steps ahead of the competition and remain focused on studying their market. In time, continuously working with your market to help them find the best products on Amazon will allow you to predict what they want next. When that happens, then it only means one thing. You finally have the skills to build your own niche and explore tapped and underserved markets. You can create demand where none existed simply because you understand your market that well, and they in return trust you to do what is right for them. Once you're able to generate sales from niches you built for yourself, then that's the time when you can finally call yourself a truly successful Amazon associate. Hopefully, this book has given you a head start on getting started with Amazon, and to have great success with their affiliate program. Best wishes on your ventures.
This has been Million Dollar Secrets of the Amazon Associates. How They Make Money from the Biggest Online Shopping Mall. Written by Jim Stevens. Narrated by Steve Krumloff. Copyright 2020 by RWG Publishing.